Alright guys, long time no see. This is a pickups video. Um, mainly Wii U. Got a couple of uh, cool things to show you though first. This is a Back to the Future cap. Oh yes! Marty McFly's cap from Back to the Future 2. I don't know if it's doing it justice in the camera, but it is awesome. Got it in uh, preparation for Glastonbury. This is going to be my cap of choice at Glastonbury this year, which is only a few weeks away. I'm ridiculously excited. Glastonbury man, oh it's coming, Back to the Future 2 one of these caps like since I was tiny and only recently realised that they actually do somebody actually makes them and uh, yeah sweet anyway another random purchase uh, from last week a few weeks ago now um, was this little guy it's Mr Burns it's a plushie of Mr Burns, I got it in a local charity shop I don't usually buy plushies and I'm not a massive fan of Simpsons either so it's a bit random to pick this up but the very next day the guy who does the voice for Burns and a lot of other characters quit the Simpsons I can't remember his name now, my mind's gone blank I'm sure you'll be able to tell me in the comments section Hank Azera is it? So, is it? was it that one? yeah, quit, uh, whoever does the voice for Mr Burns quit the Simpsons the day after I bought it, I jinxed the show but anyway, yeah so it's mainly Wii U, I do have one uh, non Wii U game and uh, this is uh, an instant buy after watching someone's video I think it was Pete's Nastastic and it's uh, Miami Vice looks like a really cheesy, obviously uh, kind of Grand Theft Auto -y type game maybe third person shooter, cover shooter or something like that anyway I'm sure this is going to be a lot of cheesy fun uh, loads of 80s references and uh, I'm sure it's going to be good for a laugh that was like £2.50 delivered so pretty happy to have that and it's something I definitely wouldn't have gone after otherwise if it wasn't for having seen Pete uh, pick this up so <laughs> nice one that's it so the rest of Wii U so I've been going pretty crazy on this system really enjoying playing the system uh, game that I've been playing most recently is uh, Resident Evil Revelations obviously not an exclusive on the Wii U but it's a really fun game uh, yeah out on all main main systems um, just a old school Resident Evil back to kind of the old style of play and just works really well I, I like it anyway yeah it's a cool game enjoying that a lot uh, that's not a pick up for this video though I have, it's been quite a while though so I don't think there's any overlap in what I've shown before but it's been a few weeks um, let's try and go in chronological order well I'd already picked up this uh, Scribble Notes Unmasked I'd already showed this previously. This was, um, if you didn't see the video previously, this was a, a PAL Australia exclusive. So it did come out in the US, but it only came out on PAL in Australia. So I had to get this imported, and uh, it's all right, it's not brilliant, but the better, better version of that uh, franchise on the Wii U is Scribble Notes Unlimited. This is supposed to be a much better game. Um, yeah, much more kind of range in your choices of how you play and uh, happy to get that. That was 16 quid off eBay, so that's pretty good, complete. Uh, yeah, Scribble Notes Unlimited. I did like the DS game uh, quite a lot, I played that. Yeah, like I said, I played Unmasked, it's okay, but I'm sure that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, next one, yeah, okay, so this one's another kind of filler as opposed to killer. Most of the Wii U collection I've got is all killer. I now have a couple of filler and I'd put that in there as well. It's Nintendo Land. Um, yeah, it's basically just a set of kind of demos of showing off what you could possibly do with the gamepad um, intended to, I guess, show other game developers, you know, the variety that you could have in types of gameplay uh, with, the, with the pad and stuff. But um, And it works well in that capacity and some of the games are pretty fun. Uh, it's worth having for a fiver. So, yeah, Nintendo Land. Uh, it didn't come packaged with the system that I got, um, so yeah. Next one is uh, Arkham Origins. Annoyingly, in a white case. Why did they do that? I've been trying to find a, a blue case for this game, and I think they are out there. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's a DLC inclusion or something. But um, yeah, there are blue cases of this out there, but I have a white one. I'll probably try and change it for OCD purposes. I'm not a very uh, OCD person in general, but for the game collection, I like order. But uh, Origins, not played this one yet. Love the other two in the series. Um, I've heard this is the weakest of the three, but if it's more of the same, it can't be that bad. So, uh, yeah, Arkham Origins. I think I've got that as complete. I got that for eight quid, I think. I was sealed when I got it. Um, yeah. Six or eight quid? Six quid. Six quid for Arkham Origins. Uh, what else we got? Right, the next one that I got... 
was uh, this Epic Mickey 2, Para 2. Um, intriguing looking game. I think I've played like one level of it uh, elsewhere, I think on the Wii. Uh, that might have been the first game of this, I don't know um, if I played this sequel. But um, it looks really fun, probably best off playing it with a Wii mode because I think you get to kind of paint levels with your magic wand or something. So it should be fairly fun on Wii U remote, maybe. Uh, Wii mode. So yeah, uh, I got that for six quid. So yeah, kind of, again, it's cross platform, but I'm tending now to pick up any cross platforms that are available on the Wii U on that system. Because um, I just like having a nice collection for it, it's a cool system. So yeah, Epic Mickey 2, 6 quid. Uh, what else have we got? Again, this is good stuff now, good stuff. Right. This game is a lot of fun, I've been playing this a lot recently as well. It's Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Um, now I got it from a local uh, indie store, Playtime. Uh, it was brand new when I got it. got it on trading though, so I, you know trade a lot of old stuff in to the value I think it was like 34 quid or something you can get it for a lot less than that on eBay uh, so it wasn't probably the wisest trade in that I've ever done but uh, I was just eager to get it and I saw it so I got it um, yeah it's really really fun looks great especially when you zoom in you can have two different points of view when you're playing um, uh, game mechanic works really well it's just very very fun definitely recommend this game if you haven't played it already uh, yeah you can get it for 20 quid around 20 quid now um, yeah, it's definitely well, well worth it. Lots of levels on there as well. Um, and lots of challenges as well because it starts off easy. The main objective is usually easy to get to the end, but then you can try and 100% it, and those are more challenging. So, yeah, cool game. Uh, next one that I got was, very happy with this, Pikmin 3. Now, I didn't play either of the other two games, but um, they do look a lot of fun. And I've now played the first couple of levels of this, and I can report it is. A good game, yes. Fact. Uh, yeah, this is cool. I got this for 26 quid, which ain't too bad for it. It's old in its price. I haven't seen out in the stores much, and this is kind of standard now with you, really. Uh, you, I haven't seen any of the kind of more uncommon games on the system, so to speak, out in the wild much, and had to get them pretty much all from eBay. Um, so yeah, 26 quid on eBay, that one. Uh, it's a really fun game, looks gorgeous. Uh, lots of character. Um, quite funny in places. Right, next one I got was a recommendation from Adam Korolik. He said this one was probably going to end up being quite uncommon on the system and um, it looks like a fun game. It is a fun game. I've played it now. I've played the first few levels actually. Uh, and it is Teslagrad. And it's a 2D platformer, really good looking TV 2D platformer that's based on this character that's got um, kind of uh, attraction and repulsion, kind of magnetic uh, powers or manipulates the levels in you know through those types of uh, things I don't know if you can get a good idea of what it looks like there no. anyway it's a really good looking game really fun game and uh, yeah pretty hard to find um, got this through Amazon I think it was and I got it for 25 quid uh, yeah which we'll see if it's an investment but regardless of that it's a very good game to add to the collection again not a Wii U exclusive you can get this on PS3 I'm not sure if you can get it on 360 but um, you get it on the other platforms and uh, well worth picking up. It's a lot cheaper on the other platforms, uh, as it seems to be the trend. We you releases of get of multi-platform games, uh, you know, are more expensive. But again, there's you know various reasons for that. This is a good game. I'll stop <laughs> rambling. Tesla Grad, yeah, I recommend that if you like 2D platformers. I'm sure you can get it on a download as well, but it's all about the physical. Hey, right, and this game just came today. And this is what I've been waiting for this for a while. And this certainly can be described as one of the more uncommon games on the Wii U. I will, you know, avoid using the R word because that can be, you know, controversial. But certainly uncommon, this game is. Uh, it is One Piece Unlimited World Red. Very strange title. Uh, it's a very strange game. It's Japanese. Uh, and it's actually still got the original Japanese voice acting. It's got the... Uh, you know the uh, it's dubbed with, with subtitles and so glad that they did that because uh, it retains its Japanese kind of feel and it is uh, wacky to say the least very very cool game gorgeous graphics nice fluid gameplay and um, the fighting in it is fun uh, it's like an adventure fighter explorer type game 
Um, I can highly recommend this. Um, I got this for 33 quid. I think it was uh, through a Facebook Wii U group. I think someone posted something saying that Amazon or Game or somewhere were doing a, a good price on it. And uh, yeah, 33 quid for that. It's got a tiny little bit of damage. But yeah, that regularly goes for 40 on eBay. Uh, and uh, yeah, so but that's a, definitely a, a game worth picking up. Um, yeah, One Piece Unlimited World Red. Not bad. So that's all the Wii U games. And that is all for this video. Um, I'll see you guys later. Um, might be making a video before Glastonbury. If not, um, that's what's happening next for me. What are you doing in July and June? If it's coming first before July. Tell me about your summer plans. Back to future, man. Nice. It's actually possible to make this cap. Who'd have thunk? <laughs>